What's up guys, it's TechNewie here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Split Recorder. Now, I gotta say it's one of the best apps out there in the uh, city of store, and I strongly recommend you take a look at it. So, what the Split Recorder does is pretty much record the screen of the um, home screen for the iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. It, all, it works for all three, and what it does besides that record the screen is also record the mic audio. So, the only thing it can't do is record the in-game sounds or in-device sounds like when you're playing music or when you're playing a video game and you can't really record those in-game sounds but besides that the split recorder really helps out when it comes to tutorial videos or uh, app demos and stuff like that so if you're interested in downloading a uh, display recorder all you gotta do is go to Cydia wait for it to load of course And then you go to the search part and type in display. And as you can see, there's display recorder, two words. It's in the Big Boss repo. Now, this app is um, $4.99, but it's worth every penny. And from here, it tells you the details. Uh, optionally records mic audio on device, YouTube uploading, adjustable frame rate, and quality settings. It will tell you what it records in. And also, um, you can use this on your browser so if you're um, how can I say this so you can be on Google Chrome and type in the IP address that display recorder gives you and you can pretty much use your iPhone from your computer so that's pretty cool and at the bottom you can see some screenshots so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the settings of display recorder which is inside uh, settings app so when you go inside there you get the user's guide link which opens up Safari you get a frame rate option here. You can lower the frame rate in case you want the file size to go uh, lower. Block frame rate and uh, rotation. I'm using portrait right now, which is the default, but you can always always change it to landscape left, landscape right, upside down, and stuff like that. Video format. You can choose uh, three options. I already chose the one with the mic audio, of course. The view quality. You can change it to high, low, medium. And a bunch of other uh, details, but uh, you can also link up your YouTube account. I'm not gonna put, uh, show you my password, but yeah, there's also activation methods in case uh, you wanna double press the home button to activate it. There's a bunch of options here. So right now I'm only using hold down the sleep button. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much display recorder. Also the tab size. As you can see there. If you see the video, you can see the little uh, circle. You can change it to large, medium, or small. I'm using small because it doesn't take up the screen that much. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much Display Recorder. It's one of the most useful apps out there. I've been using this app for maybe about, I want to say, two years. But uh, I have not had any single problem at all. Uh, yeah, it's, like I said, one of the best apps out there in the studio store. And if you're a YouTuber like me that's making um, videos about the iPhone online and you want to have a clear uh, look on the home screen instead of having a camera, uh, kind of auto focusing on the home screen, which is a lot of a lot more work. Then I suggest Display Recorder. But that's about it, guys. That's um, my take on Display Recorder. If you have any more questions, post a comment. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe.